It is right before seven and I'm having a bang. Okay, so if you followed me for any length of time, you know that I keep a Powerade Zero on deck. I usually just sip on these throughout the day. Uh, in addition to, you know, cross my fingers, actual water, I really wanna focus on drinking more water, but this is just a great sweet treat during the day. It has some electrolytes in it, um, but it merely just tastes good and keeps me hydrated. But yesterday, I finally found these Gatorade Zeros. I mean, even the Gatorade Low Sugars are still ridiculous. So I had yet to see one uh, of the Zeros. So I bought a few of these. This is the Glacier Cherry, to be honest. I mean, not my favorite. You can see this is open. I started working on it yesterday and I'll probably just drink this until it's gone today. Okay guys, for my first meal or partial meal, I am having these protein muffins that I made with Keto Connect over the weekend. We made some for our meal prep video and then we had a bunch left and they weren't going to eat them. So I was like, you know what? I can actually use these in my meal prep. So I have those left over. They are pretty much the exact same recipe as the protein waffles, except with a little added butter. Be sure to watch that video when it comes out so you can see the exact recipe. They taste delicious. I'm just gonna eat them with some butter. They're in the microwave right now and I'll show you what they look like. So here are the muffins. I've split them in half and now I'm just gonna put two tablespoons of butter on them. Okay, so look at this delicious thick layer of butter on the bottom half of this muffin. Oh my gosh. So good. Tastes like butter, tastes like cinnamon crunch, quest protein powder. This is amazing. I'm probably gonna be right back after this to make my first meal. This was just a snack I wanted right now, but it's almost time for lunch anyway, so. Unbelievable. As predicted, it has been approximately 13 seconds, and even though those protein muffins were everything, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat now. For lunch this week, I am having pulled pork in a microwave container, so like effort minimal. So I'm going to put this into the microwave, and then I'm going to make a pork carnitas taco out of it. So I'll show you how I put that together once this comes out of the microwave. Words cannot describe how excited I am about this. Starting off, I have one of these Trader Joe's low carb tortillas that I have hit with one tablespoon of this G Hughes barbecue sauce. This stuff is so good. Next, I'm going to hit it with some of that leftover taco cheese from my meal prep last week. Then I'm going in with two and a half ounces of that delicious pulled pork. Oh yeah. Quality control this. Mm, about 15 grams of red onion. And then this is 15 grams of chopped bread and butter pickles. And there you have it, the most delicious carnitas taco. What, stuffed to the brim. And then I'm also having a serving of cello wisps Hashtag team ramekin. So I'm gonna go enjoy the bejesus out of this and then I'll be back when I decide to eat something else. Okay guys, so I am finished with lunch. I guess I was super hungry. Uh, about to get back to work, but I am going to have a quest bar to cap off my meal. That carnita was amazing. Like, I love how I just continue to find food that I love on this diet, I'm over it. Uh, but then as you know, I finish off every official meal with a piece of gum just so I can cleanse my palate and get back to focusing on other things. So I'm going to have this Quest Bar, I'm going to have my gum, and then I'll be back before five to eat dinner. Okay guys, it is mid-afternoon and you know what that means tea time. I'm having some Tazo passion tea, which is pretty much my new favorite thing ever. Kind of after those carnitas. I mean, whoa, 
Those were so good. But now we're moving on to drinks. And my favorite drink at the moment is definitely the Tazo tea. I have brewed up a huge jar of it and this is all that's left because I drink it all the time. So I'm going to do pretty much this entire thing. This is about 12 ounces. And when I made that pitcher, I sweetened it with pure. So it is already sweetened. And now we just need to add some cream, just a splash. Oh yeah, that, look at that. That is beautiful. That is art right there. Come on now. Give it a good shake. Get your dance on. And there is the end result. Creamy and frothy. What did I do right? You know, like, why is this so good? I don't know. But it is delicious, it is sweet, it is tart, it is creamy. It's exactly what I need to hold me over until my final meal of the day. So I'm gonna drink this, fall in love, and I'll be back. Okay, it is dinner time. This week I am having Raise the Valley flatbread sandwiches. I saw everyone eating these on Instagram last week and they looked really good. So I was excited to order them and give them a try. So I have two of them. Each of them already has um, 15 grams of mayonnaise on it. So they look really good, but um, they are rather uneven. Like this one is a lot thinner than this one. And they were difficult to pull apart because they were frozen together, but they were also still kind of squishy. So whenever I tried to dig in and pull one away. I was kind of breaking it a little. Uh, if you can see this one here kind of has a hole in it. Yeah, so overall a little difficult to work with, but that won't stop me. I'm very excited about these cheese options that I have. I'm using one slice per sandwich. We have this bacon cheddar and we have this jalapeno American, like what? And then we have this blackened chicken. So don't ask me why. I did not look at the carbs on this. All I looked at was the fat and protein. And this has three grams of carbs per two ounces. That's way more than I wanna spend on some meat, but it's okay, it fit into my macros anyway. So I'm just gonna make a sandwich and then I'll have my Jello and Zevia. Okay, let me give this bacon big boy a try. I'm not gonna fold it in half because it's it's too thick. This is good, exactly what I wanted it to be. The flatbread is soft, but it is firm and of substance. It tastes great. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this and my jalapeno cheddar, then I'll show you dessert. Those shortbread sandwiches were really good. Maybe I'll try toasting them up tomorrow, but right now, to end out the day, I'm having two Jellos and an orange Zevia. After that, I will be having a piece of gum, of course, but that's it for today. Comment below and let me know your favorite flavor of Zevia. And if you haven't tried it, first of all, you're tripping. Second of all, let me know what flavor you would be excited to try. Thank you for watching this What I Eat Wednesday. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly What I Eat Wednesdays, as well as monthly weigh-ins. You can also find me on Instagram at WatchAutumnKeto. Thanks and I'll catch you next week.